toy fans, this time I have for you a Disney Princess game. This is the Pop-Up Magic Castle game. And it is made by the people at Hasbro Gaming. We get four player figures included with this. We get Aurora and Snow White. And also we get Belle and Ariel. This game is for two to four players. So now you can see I am all the way back here, very, very far back. There is a reason for this, guys, and you will see what that is. Now, when you open the board, the whole set springs up in 3D and comes to life. How cool is that? That is such a cool board to play the game on. Here is the board. You can see all the spaces there. We have start. And then you have all these different stones or stopping places that you have to land on. And the aim of the game is to get to the castle, which is that spot there before your opponent. You can have two to four players. Let's just take a quick look at the castle. We do get our spinning dial as well. You will spin this on your turn. When you spin it, whatever number it lands on, that is how many spaces you will move on the board. So in this case, we would have moved three spaces. We do get our four princesses as well. And they are a little bit sparkly as well. And each of your princesses will come with three tokens. So let's explain how these spaces work. If you move onto one of these stone spaces, you will stay there and you will only move when it is your next turn. If you land on one of these gem or jewel spaces there, you get to flip over a friend token. So all you need to do is have a pile there of the characters who are playing. And then when you flip one over, if it is yours, in this case it is ours, you will keep it and move forward six spaces. So you get six extra space moves there if it is your token. If it is not your token, which this one isn't, you place it face down exactly where you got it from and you stay where you are. You don't get any extra bonus. Now, one of the rules is if you collect all three of your friend tokens, which will be all three of these, along the way, you go straight to the end of the game and you are the winner. But you could take these out of the game to make it a little harder if you want to, as these do give you a huge advantage. Or if you do collect all three of your tokens, you don't have to be the winner, you can just carry on as normal. Also, the other spaces are the villain spaces. You can see one there, we also have one here, and these come up all across the board. If you land on one of these villain spaces, you move back three spaces and the next player will take their turn so you go one two three you would move back three spaces and then the next player would spin and take their turn and that is what you have to do to win the game until you end up exactly where the princess is there now on the last piece in the castle doorway So there you have it, an awesome princess game to keep you entertained and we also get those very cool princess figures. Well thanks for dropping by and I will see you here next time on Toby Review TV. Mm -hmm.